she made fun of me for getting Capri Suns, and then she drank eight of my Capri Suns. Zach, you're in your 20s and you're arguing over Capri Mom, Suns, dude. either you ground her or I fight her. So there's two options, and my fists are already up. Man's had his priorities straight. You don't f with another man's Capri Suns. Men make a movie, we just make the movie. We make what the script says, see? But when women make a movie, they have to make women look unbelievably strong. So they bypass the actual movie being a good movie for women looking strong, which is why women movies suck because they don't care about the movie. They only care about women looking strong so true women are born with value men have to create their value for male superhero movies they always have some type of tumultuous past that they have to overcome and they have to train and overcome difficult obstacles to become the superhero but when they make superhero movies for women they're just automatically strong they're just born with their power they don't have to overcome any obstacles they're just automatically the most powerful person in the room it's just boring to watch men are getting smarter it's no longer Netflix and chill. It's, do you want to work out together? I can spot you. They're waiting to f***ing you. Somebody must silence that woman. We have to hold on to our secrets. The girls cannot find out. When you have a boyfriend, but a famous rapper trying to fly you out. I'm just happy that this younger generation of men gets to see how women really think and how they really act like. It's really good that y'all are showing these young men that that loving you for you stuff doesn't really exist. Like all that stuff is in the movies. So thank you and all the other women that do this trend. The real word that needs to come to mind when you think of women is survivalist. I don't think people understood the magnitude of what I said when I described what happens when one nation conquers another. A winning nation kills all the men. They kill all the young boys, but then they keep all the women and then run their society with those women. You know what the women do? Nothing. They're perfectly fine coexisting and building families with this nation of people that just kill their own men. Like women do whatever they need to do to survive. Protect themselves, they will say what they need to, do what they need to, lie on you if they need to, play the victim if they need to. If you look at all of human history, it has only been a few generations of this modern society. A couple generations does not undo hundreds of thousands of years of biological evolution. We are just animals. We are just monkeys swinging on vines in the middle of a metropolis with technology surrounding us. If you put one fin on that boat, are you listening to me? Don't touch the boat. Nemo! We're cooking up simps for dinner. And you're next if you keep this shit up. Stop simping! The thing you really have to deal with is the threat of rejection front end rejection meaning mm -hmm. i see you in the streets i go hi how you doing supersonic and you go i don't like you all you had to do was deal with that the rejection women have to deal with rejection on the back end you have to deal with rejection you everything we give you to f you this is the problem i have to be a, a good lover i have to have decent money Charming. i have to have decent clothes i have to have be funny i gotta be ha i gotta be everything for your vagina I, where the resentment comes in is now you look at me like I'm supposed to love you like you love me and you've done nothing lovable. Not one fucking thing have you done lovable. Why should I love you? Because I'm lovable. That's why we don't like you. This is what I'm saying. You do not fucking know. I know about women. You don't know about men because you don't need to. Rest in peace to a legend. If you haven't heard more of Patrice O'Neill's stuff, I highly recommend it. What happened to, hello, how are you? My name is. What happened was that social media now changed the game for dating. And when women uh, now have the, the this massive, massive uh, field of which they could just go pluck whatever man they want from, uh, what happened is, is they wound up devaluing themselves and then men uh, men who no longer have to, or boys, boys who no longer have to go up to a girl and actually exercise that, that strength of building up the courage to asking them out and then actually learning from the rejection to where, you know, you get that excitement, she rejects you and you're like, man, but wow, I did it. I had the balls and courage to ask her out. They no longer have that growth of, uh, of becoming a man. And you apply that now into men having zero consequence for, uh, asking a woman for new and women now wanting validation by more men asking for new 
then complaining like they don't like it in the first place. Uh, internet, the internet has absolutely changed courting and ruined it. Old wisdom. Listen up, boys. You need to get comfortable with rejection. You as a man will face way more rejection than a woman ever will. So if you want to become anything in life, get used to it.